Alright, so today noticed something in my school. I was walking down the hall. And there was a flyer, uh, like a poster, I guess, for uh, a Bible club, an after school Bible club. And, uh, actually, I knew about this quite a bit beforehand. You know, I've known about this for a little while because um, my teacher, Mr. W, and I'll call him that for now. I don't, I won't give his full name, but Mr. W, he's a teacher at my school, and he was confused because I guess apparently his mother-in-law, uh, she had told him that Christmas wasn't actually the day of Jesus' birth, and he was confused about that. Um, so, you know, I clarified and told him that, you know, actually, Jesus was... You know, they don't actually believe he was really born in December. You know, odds are he was probably born closer to, like, you know, in the summer. You know. Um, they, you know, it's it's believed that the three wise king, or the three wise men, came in December to give him their gifts. But, you know, that would have been a long journey. It would have been many a days of, you know, walking or riding on camels or fucking donkeys or whatever they rode on, you know, they didn't have cars and airplanes and shit and to walk through deserts and shit too, you know, so I was just like, you know, it took them a long time to do that and, you know, I just, it's sort of believed he was born in, like, the summertime. I, you know, that's the Middle East, so maybe, you know, their seasons probably aren't the same as ours, but, you know, I, you know, it's the same concept. It would have been in that time frame of the summer season. Um, and he seemed to grasp that pretty well. He was like, oh, okay, yeah, that makes sense. And then I, you know, I continued to explain things like, you know, the Christmas tree is also not actually a Christian tradition. It's pagan. And things like that. Um, explain that the reason we celebrate Jesus' birth on December is, you know, A, they don't actually know exactly when he was born. Even if they do believe he was born in the summer, they don't have an actual date for that, I don't think. And, um, you know, when people in America, uh, between the pagans and the Christians, they, they both, you know, um, Christmas was originally a pagan holiday to celebrate the winter solstice. And Christians celebrated the birth of Jesus. And they decided to just share the holiday, you know, they formed Christmas is into a holiday that could, that could, um, I don't know, that, uh, a holiday that, you know, both of those religions and both of those people, that could accommodate both of those religions and both of those thoughts. So, you know, that's kind of, I'm going to explain to him the birth of Christmas and he seemed to understand it, and he was, you know, apparently impressed about my knowledge of Christianity, and asked me if I wanted to join a Bible club, after school Bible club, and of course I told him, uh, you know, no, I don't, you know, I was like, just like, I don't think you'd want me there, you know, I'm gonna be honest with you, uh, it's not really my thing, you know, I don't think it's really my thing, like, alright, cool, you know, he was really, he was really straight about it, and, uh, you know, now a couple weeks later, I see flyers in the hall, and that's not to be like, you know, it's, I guess that's to be expected. Like I said, it doesn't it doesn't really upset me much, aside from the fact Christianity is spreading in our high school, and I don't like the thoughts of Christian. You know, I don't like Christianity much. So it's not even Christianity. It's just like any form of generic thinking that people f choose to follow. You know. I don't think that's, it's not something I would deem as impressive about a person. Their ability to just believe in shit for no real reason. You know, it's, I'd, I'd much, much, I mean, I value much higher um, someone's ability to come up with their own ideas and come up with their own answers instead of just buying into whatever they're told. But, you know, it's a bit different. Uh, it's not really the point, I guess. Well, I mean, I guess maybe, maybe it is. I'm not sure, but... At any rate, there's these flyers around school, and... Essentially, they're not that bad. They say things like, you know... Learn about Christ, and... 
blah, 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 blah. But they say something peculiar in them. Something along the lines of, uh, you know, it says where, tells them where they can meet Mr. W's classroom, when, between 3 and 4 o'clock on Tuesdays. And then they say why. And then why, they say something along the lines of, we want to teach our students about God so they can make a difference. So we can make a difference in our high school. No, I do find that a little bit offensive, because it's kind of like saying, if you don't believe in God, you can't make a difference. If you don't believe in God, you're not valuable to our school system at all. I mean, that, I mean, I don't know how else you're supposed to interpret that. Um, so, I don't know, I think that's a little bit shitty. And my initial thought, actually, was to make flyers of my own, saying stuff like, like, uh, I don't know, learn to love Lucifer, uh, you know, and then make my own fan club or whatever for Lucifer, Satan, you know, where people can worship Satan and stuff after school, because essentially it's a public school, and you, you know, I'm pretty, you can do that, that's the whole concept of a public school, so that you can, you know, it's even representation, and, uh, I don't even, like, I don't even want to do it for me, like, I didn't, like I said, I don't really have a problem with the flyers, but it's just about representation, in my opinion, I don't feel like everyone's equally represented, I feel like Christians are represented, and that's the only person that's ever really represented, you know, could have made flyers for, like, Buddhists, and, uh, Hindus, and Islamic people, um, and, you know, and then also made one for, like, satanic occult and shit, um, and it's, like I said, it's not even, like, I don't even necessarily really want to, I just, I feel I have this strange obligation, you know, I have this sense of obligation to do that, just because it's a public school and it's supposed to be equal representation, but I kind of also realize that if I go around putting posters up about satanic groups and, like, hailing Satan, then people are going to get pissed. And, um, if people get pissed, then I'm going to be like, all right, well, I'm just representing things evenly, you know? There's, a, uh, you know, you don't have anything to really complain about because I'm just doing what you're doing, supporting my religious preference. And, you know, satan or, I don't even know how you'd say that, but, um... You know, the worship of Satan, that's not really my thing. And I don't believe in Satan either. I don't believe in anything, particularly. But, um... I mean, that's not true. I don't believe... I mean, I believe in some stuff. But I don't have a religion that I follow. So, I mean... I don't actually believe in the worship of Satan. But, you know, they don't know that. So... Um... But point is, it would offend them. It cause an issue. And then, at the end of everything you know, odds are that Bible group would have to be taken down. And that's not what I want. I don't want to, you know, keep people from worshiping who they want to worship. They can worship whoever the fuck they want to worship. I just, I want equal representation. And it's a little bit upsetting to me. It's a little bit frustrating that that's so, it's, it's just so not apparent at my high school. You know, another funny thing, like Mr. W, he's got all these stickers outside of his class things that say God bless America and stuff, kind of thought about, you know, instead of the God taking a sharpie and writing Allah, Allah bless America or something, because I know, that's, that's another small thing, it's viewed as patriotic, like, God bless America, God bless America, you know, shit like that, but, I don't know, like, probably not fair we still say that, because even though most of the population is Christian, and that's like, you know, that's not even a fair statement. Pretty much all of the population is Christian. But, um, even though that's true, there's like, I think, I think 19% of the population views themselves as not having a religious preference. Um, even still, most of those people believe in God. Um, they're not all atheists particularly or, you know, anything like that. And they're still kind of, um... They would still say that they worship God. They just don't follow a religion. But, I don't know, like... God bless America. Why... I don't know. 
I just don't think it's something that is appropriate for a teacher to have outside of his public classroom, I guess. Kind of like hanging crosses in your room. Just doesn't really feel appropriate. Peter is out. Give me a sec. So, yeah. Another funny story from my high school. I'm in a, a choir class, and I guess uh, I heard word that I offended a girl. Mm, again, I won't call, I won't give her name, but offended a girl in my class. And um, it was because I was talking to a friend of mine, and I was like, I don't, I, I don't even remember what I was talking about, you know? I don't really, like... That was when I heard this, I like I didn't even know particularly what I said to offend her. It's like, oh, I'm sure I said something that would offend a Christian, you know? I'm sure I did because that's what I do. I say those things, and those are my views. But um, I was like, I couldn't tell you what it was. I guess it was because I had said something along the lines that um, Jesus wasn't white. Said that uh, Jesus was, you know, he was Arab. He looked kind of like, you know, he had the skin color of a terrorist. He is brown. Uh, something like that, you know? I was like, he's not black, he's not white, he's like, Middle Eastern. Or he was, anyways. I guess that offended her, so, you know, she felt the need to, like, write a note and give it to her friend, saying she was upset because I was belittling her, um, her savior, or not even, it's not that I'm looking for a separate word, um, belittling her... I don't know. I got, you know, I was belittling Jesus, and she worships Jesus, so it upset her. And I guess it's one of those things where I wish she would have said something to me directly. You know, of course that's what I think. I don't want people going around like, oh, he's hurting my feelings. You know, if you have a problem, then you just say so. I'm not going to be an asshole, you know. I'm really not. I can have a civil conversation, you know. We can sit down, and we can talk about our disagreements. But instead, it, like, turns into this thing where I'm attacking her. And it wasn't even directed towards her. I wasn't even talking to her, you know? She just happened to be sitting in front of me. And, uh, you know, she was upset and offended. And she didn't have to be. She could have just been like, hey, I think Jesus was white. And then I could have been like, well, I think you're wrong because he was Middle Eastern. Because of all the sunlight they get there, their skin tends to be darker. It's just the way it is, you know, and we could have sat there and talked about it and discussed and had a civil conversation. But instead, she does the Christian thing, and I'm not, by the Christian thing, I don't mean the good thing. I mean, she does what Christians would do, and she bitches about it and acts like she was being attacked personally. And, you know, it's all, you know, everything I say is an attack on her. It's to offend her and belittle her religion. When it's nothing like that, it's got nothing to do with any of that, you know? I'm just speaking my mind, you know? So, yeah. A little bit fed up with all this silly shit going on lately, but I guess that's life. Just gotta deal with it. Look the other way. Put up with that shit. Because if you let it get to you and you make problems and people just get pissed off and it makes things difficult. Not to say I don't mind pissing people off. I mean, I'm not gonna... I'm not the kind of person that's going to just keep his mouth shut because I don't want to hurt someone's feelings, you know. I'm going to be honest about my views and things like that. But I also, I'm not going out to ruins every, ruin everybody's life, you know. It's like I said, um, it's the whole reason I'm not putting up flyers, or I'm, that's the whole reason I'm not making and printing off satanic flyers right now, because I don't want to do that. I don't want to attack kids, and I don't want to take away their ability to, you know, worship the god they want to worship and learn more about their religion um as long as what they're learning is realistic you know it's like the actual truth if what they're learning is factual you know uh -huh. and i'm sure it's not i don't really have much you know i've got nothing to do with it i decided i didn't want to be a part of that group so whatever they do it doesn't fucking matter to me it's got nothing to do with me but i don't know it'd be nice to have a um, God, what do they call them? Bible study groups? It'd be nice to have a Bible study group that actually studies the Bible, you know? The entirety of it. Studies the parts about how you're not supposed to mix fabrics and eat shrimp and shit. 
you know, studies the little things that people don't follow in the Bible instead of doing what everybody does, which is cherry pick the Bible and look at all the parts you want to believe in instead of believing the whole thing. Um, but, you know, like I said, I'm sure that's what they're doing. They're probably just a group that sits down to say, Praise Jesus, I love the Lord and Father. I love this holy book, even though I haven't read fucking half of it. You know, I'm sure, sure, they're just that generic fucking Christian group that doesn't know what they believe. But, um, none of my business other than the fact it's getting, that's, it, I really wouldn't care, realistically. At the end of the day, I don't really give a shit, except for the fact it's just, um, A, it's not even representation. You know, Christianity always gets a bigger representation because it's more of the community. And, um, B, I guess it just scares me, you know? Uh, there's, there's definitely groups in the school that do more than that. There's, like, we have a Will You Stop the Hurt group that, you know, tries to, um, help kids with self-harm issues and things like that. Um... And then, you know, like, that that actually, like, that's a good group. It actually makes a change for people. It gives people a place to turn to when they're depressed and things like that, and they have issues that they need help solving. But a Bible study group, I don't know. The only thing I see that ensuing in the future is, like, mandatory school prayer and shit like that. Obviously, I'm going to be opposed to that. And I'm not, and that's the whole, like, I'm not going to fight it now. But if shit like that starts going down, I will, you know, and I'm not, I'm not gonna be very nice about it either. I'm not gonna be polite or respectful at that point, because I think that's bullshit, you know. So, so yeah, those are my thoughts to the day that's going on at my high school. If you got any ridiculous stories from your high school, um, leave me comments, we can talk about it have fun discussions about stupid shit, stupid kids. Um, or I guess if you don't go to high school anymore, but you have stories from when you did, um, comment, leave comments and stuff. Could be fun. Um, other than that, do the usual stuff. Rate, subscribe. Um, you know, follow me on Twitter and Facebook. I've got links in the description box. Uh, so, yeah. Do all that shit, and uh, have a good day. I'll talk to you guys later.